My name is John Arvig with Campbell CV, and today we are going to talk about shell and tube heat exchangers uh, for steam and water to water applications, um, and water to process water actually. And typically, where you will see these in most applications is in building heat, domestic water heat, and then heating up some kind of a process. Um, so we'll just start out and we'll go through each port and what they're used for and then we'll go through the tubes in the tube sheet. So the this typically is the steam port on the shell side. Steam comes in here. You can see in this small cutaway unit we only have one baffle and then as we get larger in size we'll have multiple baffles and that steam will go in, travel across the tubes, and the baffles will redirect it and then we'll go to this bottom um, coupling which is the condensate leaving. So what we end up doing is pushing all the steam across the tubes and then out here. And you see this coupling at the top, this is where we end up putting our air vent and our vacuum breaker assembly. So when, if you imagine off the top of here we would typically have a control valve of some sort. And as this modulates there's times where this would pull a vacuum. So we have our vacuum breaker here. And then as soon as that vacuum breaker opens and our valve may shut, we now have just introduced oxygen and non-condensables into the shell of the unit. So now when we do that, we have a unit full of air and non-condensables. So now when our steam control valve opens back up, we want to make sure we purge all that out with the air vent. So again, we put an air vent and a vacuum breaker off of this, this fitting. And typically this air vent, we like to run to a drain or to a condensate line to keep that um, from dripping constantly. Um, so that's the steam, the air vent, vacuum breaker, and the condensate side. And then on this side is typically our water, process water or building water. And here you can see our water would come in on this cutaway on the bottom and it would leave out the top. So this would be what we would call counter flow. And you'd see the water come in on the bottom of the tubes, come up and go out the top of the tubes and then out to our process. And then you can also see here the gaskets and the tube sheet. Um, and then in this particular case, this is a single tube sheet. Now in many states we have what we call double wall tubes where there's actually these tubes are a tube in a tube. And when that's the case we actually have two tube sheets stacked together. And now in, when we have those two tube sheets we actually have a little keyhole that is our weep point. So if something ever were to happen to these tubes we now can be notified that they're weeping right here or leaking. Um, so now that's steamed to water on this side and condensate leaving. We can also run water to water. So we can keep water on this side and then we can also take water on this side. So there are a few different ways we can run this. And that's the standard shell and tube heat exchanger design.